Hey, welcome to the VHF UHF channel and we're going to ask the first question for people that actually you want to buy a radio or a police scanner. It's often referred to as a police scanner. It's a radio scanner. Um, and um, so what is exactly a police scanner? That's probably the first questions that come up to mind. People see these radios and say, hmm, what is this radio exactly and what do you hear? Uh, the first thing that a lot of people will say was, oh, this is the radio to listen to the police. And uh, that's often the case and often true, uh, but it does depend where you live. Uh, some police services have gone all digital, but it's way more than just a police scanner or it's really a receiver that um, gets many many signals in different frequencies from VHF to UHF. So what types of scanners will you have? Well here's three examples of scanners. Now um, keep in mind that I'm not talking about communications receivers in this video. I'm talking about the basic uh, scanners or radio scanners that you'll get in electronic outlets and uh, Radio Shack, uh, the source, or any electronic uh, store that sells uh, all types of radios. So you have basically uh, the entry-level scanner. The entry-level scanner is a little bit like this uh, Burkett, this Uniden Burkett 30 channel. This is a very basic one. Uh, this is an old one that I bought on eBay for like $20, $25 shipping included. It was so cheap I couldn't resist just ordering it. This is the basic scanner. Basically at about 90 bucks, you know, from uh, I would say $79 to uh, maybe $160, $170, you'll get this basic uh, scanner. The first things that come up to mind is uh, frequencies what are the frequencies that we can hear a very basic entry-level scanner like this one will receive signals from about 30 megahertz to 54 and 108 to 174 this well, this one here is at uh, 137 um, which are low v VHF high VHF and uh, UHF band from 406 to 4, 512 megahertz. So it's uh, really entry level. You get the low, high VHF and UHF channels. Um, if you're listening to the cops, the police, if it's unencrypted in your area, this will do the job. Uh, it will receive basically um, most signals of uh, the police, uh, amateur radio frequencies, uh, that you might want to listen to and some parts of the uh, 450 uh, commercial band um, You can hear lots of signals on this thing. You can hear baby monitors. You can hear the police. You can hear uh, Amateur radio traffic. You can hear all sorts of communication taxis uh, You can hear uh, companies chatting away with um, their daily business uh, all through the band and basically this is the basics of basics it usually doesn't have much channels this one has 30 um, some have 150 or 100 and um, it basically scans in a very basic way with very little uh, options as to what to listen to it has of course the radio band and so um, this is the cheap way to get into radio and uh, basically you'll, you'll hear a lot of signals on these uh, usually when they're uh, very cheap 79 bucks 89 bucks these tend to overload easily so uh, just keeping it with the little rubber ducky antenna is going to be probably the best thing that you can do and um, you know once you uh, learn how to program the different frequencies uh, let, let it scan this could be an interesting radio if you don't have you know a big budget for a radio uh, this can still be very interesting um, what is the major problem today uh, as of 2014 for scanners is the fact that we are 
getting into a digital age so a lot of communications are digital uh, here in Montreal we are lucky the police is still analog but there is less communications on the police frequencies today than there was in the past because they now have in-car computers where they can actually chat away so when they get uh, or they want to ask a question or, or, or get the information of what's happening they now get it through their computers in a car so we don't hear that much traffic but we still hear analog stuff uh, over the air uh, here in Montreal it's in the 410 megahertz range for the police and uh, so why not if you uh, want to buy a scanner and uh, don't have a lot of money this could be a fun little entry-level scanner and uh, all you'll have to do afterwards is find those frequencies where you can listen to and uh, of course you can watch the videos here that are going to explain a lot on how to use these radios um, the next step from this basic scanner would be a more advanced scanner that goes up to 800 megahertz like this Pro 43 that is a very old one but there's the equivalent of this scanner today exists and this is basically um, a more advanced uh, scanner you see there's more buttons on it it actually now scans a lot of more frequencies than the uh, the, the, the basic scanner this one adds up to uh, 999 megahertz that you can uh, listen to uh, 999 or 960 I don't remember been a while since I've tuned my Pro 43 uh, it also adds the uh, military airband on the 220 to, to uh, 400 megahertz frequencies which is um, something interesting especially if you leave, live near a um, military airbase there could be lots of communications going through on that band um, it basically has support for all the basic frequencies that I've shown in the first basic scanner but adds a lot more it usually has more channels this one is an example this one has 200 but today you typically easily get 500 or a thousand channels on these um, this one's old and back then 200 channels was a lot uh, in 2014 you will typically get you know 500 channels or 1000 channels that you can program in which is quite nice they also have a um, faster usually they scan much faster the frequencies um, Scanning fast is um, a good way of uh, you know getting to communications faster, but it's not necessarily that much of a great advantage. Um, I've never, while scanning channels, for example, I've never seen the real um, you know effect of, of why we should scan so fast. But um, where it is important is when you uh, want to scan between frequency ranges to find signals. Uh, I must say that scanning faster is great because you wait less before you know if any signals are present in a certain frequency band. Also, these um, more a little more advanced scanners sometimes let you change mode, for example, AM or FM mode, and uh, will add uh, the possibility of direct entry of frequencies and scan from a certain point to another one so um, basically the biggest advantage of a, a, a more, more advanced scanner like this one is its frequency range is enhanced there's a lot of uh, stuff happening in 800 megahertz for example uh, here we have lots of repairs and stuff in the 800 megahertz I listen to uh, for example our um, bus the uh, local uh, STM which is the uh, the bus service in Montreal which is a pretty big one uh, well they are in 800 megahertz um, another example ambulance is in the 800 megahertz here too uh, lots of uh, commercial you know the companies in 800 megahertz I we have and have a few repeaters in 936 megahertz here in Montreal so having a scanner that has more range in frequency will of course add more signals that you can listen to um, that's interesting but what it will do is um, give you um, 
also much more uh, interesting stuff and much more complex operation on a radio but they still aren't that complicated compared to a communications receiver for example and uh, typically you'll get those in a price range that will go from uh, two to three hundred dollars and um, they will uh, give you 800 megahertz capability and um, not all of them has the uh, military band like this one so uh, if it's something that you might be interested in um, check the different models check to make sure that you get 225 to 400 megahertz reception here um, I don't hear a lot of military stuff uh, I used to hear a lot back in the uh, 90s uh, because um, in Plattsburgh Vermont uh, Plattsburgh New York yeah, there was a, a big military base and because it's just across the border from Canada to the United States when the uh, planes were in flight uh, I would li I would hear a lot of military exercise communications that was really cool but um, I haven't actually scanned a lot the 20 225 to 400 megahertz in it lately um, and maybe should try it um, who knows what you can hear so that's the uh, mid-range type scanner so you'll have the basic one that goes up to the 500 megahertz you'll have the mid-range that now adds 800 to 900 megahertz capability faster scanning more channels and the last one that you'll have is the trunk scanner now trunk scanning is getting real interesting today because trunking is used by a lot of companies what is trunking I'll make a separate video to explain it so watch that but basically it's a way where uh, users share a same repeater antenna and it's computerized so these scanners are more expensive you're getting more into the 400 500 dollar range they typically have the same capabilities as the higher end that I've shown you like the Pro 43 that I had here as 800 megahertz 900 megahertz but adds the capability of following conversations on trunk systems and they typically have um, you know the same complex operation it's a little more complex even to use here because one of the major uh, problems with trunking is that you'll have to understand how to program a receiver for trunk operation and how to program your frequencies and find them so uh, it's something more and uh, you, the, the, the thing is is that you can hear for example uh, I can hear bus the uh, local buses uh, in Montreal on this scanner in the 800 megahertz range but buses in Montreal use a trunk system which is the um, Ericsson EDAX system and to follow a conversation is kind of a little awkward with this one because it doesn't follow by itself you'll have to scan through the band all the time this one has trunking so it actually understands the bus system um, and follows if I want to follow a conversation between the bus and the tower the main tower then I can actually just press the trunk button and it's gonna automatically follow the communications and it's going to stay put on the same communication that I want to hear when it changes frequency because uh, trunking uses a frequency hopping type uh, communication so uh, this is the higher end scanner that you'll get and it's uh, just below a much different type of receiver that's called a communications receiver so if we uh, resume in a very short way what you can get basic not not many channels slower scan speed and goes up to 500 megahertz uh, mid-range where you'll get the same as the basic but with added frequencies 800 megahertz uh, this one has air band for military so that's uh, another interesting part faster scanning more channels to program and the last one the higher end type scanner I'll get is trunking where not only you get the 
mid-range frequency coverage most of the time, but you'll also get the capability of following conversations on trunk systems uh, with the scanner. So hope uh, it helps if you don't have a scanner or if you didn't understand exactly what the difference were between all the scanners out there. This is pretty much the three types of scanner you'll find um, when you want to buy some kind of a, a police scanner to uh, scan frequencies. So hope it helped and it wasn't too complicated and um, hope you enjoyed the video. 73.